Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're out here in Macomb at a gravel pit, as you can see. Uh, they got about six years left on this gravel pit. They're gonna be mining about another 100 foot. And up top here, we're turning this into a RV campground park here. Probably about a 100, 200 uh, campsite. They're only ones approved here. So right now we're coming in to get a feel on the timber. Also, we're gonna end up land clearing it, but I'm getting a price on the timber right now to kind of give myself a little bit more competitive edge. You're going to see as we walk around and come through here, there's already been one or two paint marks on the trees. And what that means is there's competition. What I'm doing is I'm looking how far from about four inches up. These are designed to go eye level at four feet. Yep. And I'm looking up how many feet I could go before I hit the branches, how clean it is, right? Gotcha. So it says one sixteen foot, two sixteen feet. So I'm estimating from right here about saw height up how many feet would be there. Yep. This I'm just gonna take a sixteen. And what you do is you you don't move your head, but you line this uh, edge of the stick up on the edge of the bark. Uh -huh. And without moving your head, you just slide your eyes over. And they'll tell you roughly how many feet gotcha. are in there. I'm probably going to pay 400 bucks for this unit to drop. That's nice. Why don't you get in there? I mean, think about it. Look at We could get in there. It's a nice ice bath. What do you think? You think the wife would like this? Very nice. Bring her home, paint her up. We could put the ladies in there or some bourbon on the side. Diesel oh. and iron. Hey, this could be our first. Uh, Official prop. I think we need a tetanus shot to get in the back. Yeah, we might need a tetanus shot. Go oh. pull those needles too hard. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah, probably 400 bucks. But still. Well, when you're making your estimation, are you kind of saying when in your vertical footage, are you only going from here and then this is going to so, be extra if it works? No, so I'll still take the same measurement, but knowing that this is rock, you allow for the number to subtract up at the top. Gotcha. So let's say we're estimating this is. Let's just call this two sixteens, right? Of board feet. There's a thousand feet of board feet in here, which is always a little bit over. So this is probably this is probably a thousand feet. It reads nine sixty four. But I'm going to put this down at probably eight hundred feet because this could come up five six feet. Gotcha. That's <clears throat> quite a bit of footage. talking about trees the best way to explain trees is like a human being some people come out normal some, some people, people don't goofy. and then it's just like the tree maturity age when people are like well what made this die well how come someone dies at 25 30 and then some live to 90. yeah there's just and a ton of ground people. condition weather a lot of these things are fight for sunlight so if the bigger one outgrows starts taking the sunlight from them for um years it kills the tree it'll start killing the branches to speed up the growth to get to the top of the canopy yeah so that's really the best way to explain it. it's kind of like a human being you're not gonna take that one mm. no what's the matter with that one other than the fact that she's a little ugly on the outside rick we don't judge here yeah i know you so know, why aren't you taking that one you gotta kind of be like hollywood you gotta pick the best and pay for the best when you're buying trees okay and what other timber buyers will do too is they won't paint every tree Oh, really? They will, they will go by to kind of keep count. Yeah. Where that, and then they'll start zigzagging. And so, when you think you're comparing apple to apples, it's just a game in the business where you don't paint every tree. No sh And you'll come through, and then next thing you know, let's say their price would be like eight, nine thousand dollars more. They bought every freaking tree in the woods. They just did a market. market. Now, if this was like on a roadside and everything, you so if that's the road where the truck's at, I always paint the backside of the tree. But I just put a little itty bitty dot right there. Yeah. Just for the timber cutter. Because if you put it on the other side of the tree, um, Every time timber buyers bigger. will go by, or anyone that's in the tree business, and they will see that the timber's been put up for sale. Yeah. And they'll go knock at the door and start huh. trying to buy some timber. Oh, uh -huh. What a cutthroat industry. <laughs> What's 
that one there. Hard maple. This one? Yep. In the hard maple category family. Yep. There's hard maple and curly hard maple. Oh. Um. I don't feel like you just make it up and confuse the out of me. Exactly. You taking this one? Yeah. What's that? What kind of tree is that? Oak. You would think. What it's is a it? tulip poplar. The what? Exactly. Now is that the same kind of poplar that's going to start green and brown up over time? This is what they would cut out. Really? So that's a high dollar tree. The old tulip poplar. Exactly. The thing is, when you go buying trees, yep. you gotta look at the whole flipping tree. The guys that get into the industry that are so excited to buy them that they'll just run up and measure. Mark on it. Yeah, measure up of one side. And then next thing they know, bunch of rot. They, just, holes they just threw, let's say, 100 bucks off the window. Yeah. So, like that guy right there with the big crack in it. That's why I cut college. Beach said to do that, but you won't buy it. Huh. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up here for the day. As you can see, it's quite the process to tally up the board fee per species, per tree category. Um, I'm just going to get a board count. I'll add up everything that I tallied to give me a price point advantage on doing this job for what I'm getting into. The next step here is I'm going to present numbers to the owner um, for the land clearing and then that's where I'm going to give my pricing accordingly. Uh, once that's accepted and approved, hopefully we're out here about summertime leveling these trees. Uh, we'll come through obviously with the tree shear. Um, wipe it out. Obviously a lot of the forest mulching has been done. We'll come out here with the excavator, start cutting these and crash them down like we did uh, on a five acre land clear. So I guess they'll talk details, see if the stumps are staying or if I'm responsible for them or, and the tree tops if I got to chip them or grind them up. That's really it. Hopefully you guys had a lot of fun. It looks like downtown Detroit with the paint. We'll catch you in the next one.